Hey, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to install Windows 11 in VirtualBox. Before we begin, I wanna let you know that this is the installation of the early release version, so I'm not expecting full functionality as it's still under development. Microsoft will allow you to download your own copy if you're registered with the Windows Insider program in the dev channel. So if you wanna get your own copy, I'll post a link in the description walking through those steps so you can get yourself your own copy and you can do the installation inside VirtualBox like I am. Like I had mentioned, this is still under development, so you're not gonna get the full experience as described in the announcement, but installing it in VirtualBox is probably the best way to play with it and test it out because you're not committing your PC to it and you can shut it down or start it up whenever you want. You can get in and out of the operating system. You can actually have it running concurrently while you're doing things on your desktop. So I think it's the safest way and probably the best way to test and experience this operating system. Let's take a look at the minimum requirements to install this on a Windows 10 PC. So first you're gonna need VirtualBox and an extension pack installed. The minimum requirements for RAM is four gigs, but I've tried that and it's really laggy. So I say, if you can use eight gigs, use eight gigs of RAM. 64 gigs of available disk space is needed. And you're also gonna need the Windows 11 ISO image. So if you don't already have that, I'll link it in the description on how you can do that. So with that all of the way, let's go ahead and start installing the operating system. So to get started, the first thing you're going to need is VirtualBox. Now, if you don't already have it installed, what you can do is head over to Google, type in VirtualBox. VirtualBox.org is the official website. You can download the newest version of VirtualBox, and you're also going to want to download the extension pack. Now that it's downloaded, we can go ahead and start the installation. We're going to be using default by clicking on next. All the default options will be selected. Same with the path. Click on next. Default shortcuts and registration, we'll click on next, and then yes to the interfaces, and then click on install. Say yes to the prompt. And now we'll begin to download and install all the files. So once it's complete, we can click on finish. And inside here, we're gonna install the extension pack. To install the extension pack, you wanna click on the preferences icon. Inside preferences, click on extensions, and then hit the green plus on the side. In here, you wanna locate where you downloaded the extension pack, select it, and then click on open. Click on install. Then we need to scroll all the way down to the agreement and click on I agree. Say yes to the prompt. And once it's complete, you can click on okay. And click on okay. And now we've installed VirtualBox as well as the extension pack. With VirtualBox now installed, we can go ahead and get ready to install Windows 11 within it. Now, the first thing that you're gonna need is the Windows 11 ISO image file. It's important to know where you have it stored because during the installation process, we have to point to that directory. So now that we have it located, we can begin the installation by starting up the VirtualBox manager. On the, what we wanna do is click on the new button and in here we wanna give it a name. So Windows 11 will be the name that we provide it here. Machine folder, we're gonna leave as default. The type is gonna be Microsoft Windows. And the version that we're gonna select, we're gonna go down to Windows 10 64-bit and then we can click on next. Next is gonna be memory. I would suggest using eight gigs or greater. I'm gonna max this out as much as possible. Click on next. We're gonna be leaving this as default. And then VDI, we're also gonna be leaving this as default and we're gonna be leaving dynamically allocated as well. And in here, this is where it's stored. The disk space that we're gonna be using is gonna be 80 gigs. You can use as much as you want, but the minimum is 64. Then you can click on create. And now that it's complete, we're just gonna modify the settings by clicking on the settings button in here. Under general, we're gonna be leaving these all as default. We're not gonna be touching anything in here, under systems, we're gonna click on the processor tab and in here, by default, it's only giving you one. Uh, you wanna max this out to as much as you can in the green space. In this instance, I have four CPUs available. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna be used. It's about 50% of available space. So we're gonna keep that option selected. So we had base memory already maxed out. And then under storage, what we wanna do is this is the part where we're gonna be pointing to the ISO image. So if you go down to the empty disk here and then click on the right hand side, select choose a disk file. This is where you need to know where your ISO file is located. You select it, you hit okay. And now we're ready to go ahead and install the operating system. The rest of the options in here in the menu we're gonna be leaving as default. Now these can be modified depending on the specs of your system. Uh, for compatibility issues, you might wanna change some of the settings later on, but we're gonna leave everything as default for now. So we'll just click on okay, and then we can go ahead and start up the virtual machine. 
To start using a virtual machine, make sure it's selected on the left-hand side, then click on Start. You get prompted for a startup disk. In the drop-down menu here, you want to make sure that you're selecting the Windows 11 64-bit ISO image, and then click on the Start button. The installation is going to begin here, so you're going to notice a bunch of black text. It might take a few minutes for it to begin, and uh, we'll just jump over to the first step. So we have the setup beginning, and it's going to ask for a, a Windows key. I don't have a Windows key, so I'm going to select I don't have a product key here. And the next thing it wants to do is select a version. I'm going to be using the Windows 11 Pro, and then click on Next. We have the agreement here. We're going to select Accept and click on Next. And then what we're going to do is click on Custom, and we're going to create a new volume here by clicking on New, and then select OK, and then OK again. And it'll apply those changes to the disk space, and then we can click on Next. So now it's going to download and copy all the files that it requires for the installation in the virtual machine. I'm going to jump over to the next step, which is the setup. So the virtual machine is rebooted and now we have the setup window here. It's going to ask for a few questions uh, like the region and all the requirements for it. So I'm going to be leaving everything as default. I'll be selecting United States as my region. For the keyboard, I'm going to leave default as United States. Click on yes. And for additional keyboards, I'm going to just skip this. So now it's just checking for updates. This might take a few minutes as it goes through that process. Now it wants to know how we want to set it up. I'm going to be selecting it as personal, personal use, and then I'll click on next. And now it wants you to sign in with the Microsoft account. You don't have to. What I'm going to be doing is selecting the sign in options and then use an offline account. This way I can create a username and password with it and just log in using those credentials. So we're prompted to enter our name here. I'm going to be using Geekrar and then a password. Uh, we'll be asked to type this in twice. So this is going to be the username and password that you're going to use to sign into the operating system. So you just want to make sure you remember both uh, the username and password. Click on next. And now it's going to ask a series of security questions. It looks like it's going to ask for three here. Uh, let's see what we have on the list. Uh, pet name. I'll just type in cat. And then what else do we have to do here? city you're born in i'll just type in city obviously i'm just making up stuff as i go along here um childhood nickname i'll type in batman okay and that part's done click on next and we're going to go ahead and finish this setup so we can see the windows 11 desktop so for privacy settings i turn everything off i usually turn on these options as needed uh, you can select whatever you want here. Uh, in my case, I'm just disabling absolutely everything. And then I'll just click on accept. So this looks like it's going to take a few minutes. I'll just jump to the next part. Okay, so it's loaded up. Now we have Windows 11 installed in VirtualBox on a Windows 10 PC. Everything's showing up pretty much the way it should, except that we don't have a proper full screen. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to install the guest editions. Now, I'm not expecting everything to work properly. It should at least give me full screen, um, but we'll install guest editions and see how it works out. The way you normally install it is go to devices and then you're going to select the guest editions CD image. And then we can go over to the file explorer. There should be the CD loaded. Let me just see what happens here. Okay, it looks like it is. So we'll select that. So I'm just going to run this as I would with any other installation. I'll just go through the installation process for guest editions. I'll just click on my next all the way through and leave everything as default and then click on install. And you're going to want to install the virtual adapter. So you can just click on next here. It looks like everything is still loading up. We'll click on reboot. And we'll take a look at this and see if we can get everything up and running properly as it reboots. OK, so it's fully reloaded. We're back at the desktop. Let's try out full screen mode with the guest editions installed. And OK, there we go. So it works. So it looks like guest editions is working with VirtualBox on Windows 11. I haven't tested out everything, but we have a full screen, which is nice because now we can use this like we would if we're using our own desktop. So we've installed Windows 11 in VirtualBox on a Windows 10 PC. We've also installed guest editions. We have everything up and running and we can start exploring the operating system and check out all the new features. So if you have any questions, you can go ahead and put them in the comments below. If you found this video useful, please give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.